Professor, do you have a moment? I need to ask you about something? Oh, I know that look. Did something happen in one of your classes? Yeah, and I'm not sure what to do about it. Well, come sit. You know you can always talk to me about these things. One of my students said something today that worries me. What did she say? They said there are too many white people on campus. <sighs> I knew sooner or later this was going to come up. What do you mean? I hoped at least our university would be spared. It seems I was wrong, and now I have a tough decision to make. So, you know what's going on? It's something that's been around for years. But here lately, it's been getting a lot worse. What's going on? What's happening to our school? Political correctness. I've heard of that. I thought it was a change in speech to be more polite. No, no it isn't. Absolutely not. What is it then? Intolerance masquerading as tolerance. Rigid rules and limitations imposed on speech played off as manners. It has gotten significantly worse with this generation of young people. They were sheltered so much that they are ill-prepared to face the real world. They are very easily offended. So they push for strict laws on how people should think and speak. And if you don't fall in line, they'll go out of their way to destroy your life and career. It is also justification for a new kind of racism. It has become politically correct to normalize the demonizing of white people. I never wanted to talk about this, but now I have no choice. Professor, I had no idea things were getting this bad. Many universities are in chaos because of this. What's worse, it has now begun to make its way into our movies, TV shows, and video games. Whenever you hear people use the word diversity, it usually means no white people or no men or white men shown in a very negative light. There is an effort to normalize the perception that all white people are racist at birth and all white men are misogynists at birth. Political correctness and feminism used to be two separate things, but now they're sort of merging. It is an infection eating away at the heart of our society, creating an ever-widening division between us. Not just here, but all around the world. Professor, what should I do? Based on what you just said, if I tried to correct her, you just set her off into a tirade of screaming. I've seen it happen. But, what can we do? These are people who don't want to be told they're wrong. They aren't willing to listen to logic and reason. They only want to hear what they want to hear. How do you reason with people who won't be reasonable? This is the greatest dilemma of our time. The foundations of our society and moral compass are at stake. These people are the leaders of tomorrow, but will have no future if they stay as they are. To answer your question, I don't know. Mm -hmm.